way that you can get your students moving through space right away from the beginning with really simple steps. You get them to learn right and left, weight change, swing rhythms that go a one, a two, a three, a four, and how to hit the floor solidly. First, establish loose muscles. So get your students to shake out their legs, shake out their feet, so everything's loose. Then, the students are gonna move first to the right with a stamping step, and then to the left. Ready? One, two, three. music. So jazz music swings. Jazz music also, and classic tap, is structured in this idea of three and a break. And also this idea of the pickup. So the pickup is the count of four. You want to distinguish between the ball of the foot and the stamp. And you can teach your students this rhythm. One, two, three, stamp, stamp, ball, stamp. Again, a one, two, three, stamp, stamp, ball, stamp. Then you can teach a second rhythm, uh, starting on the right foot. A one, two, three, four. The other side, ready, and. It's really great if you can get your students scatting rhythms. So I'm going to scat, and Raquel is going to uh, respond. One, two, three. Sha, bi, da, ba, bi, da, ba, di, ba, da, da. Da bi da bi du da da bi da di ba. Sha bi da ba di ba ba di ba di ba. Sha bi da di ba da di da da di ba di ba. So then, once the students have the scat rhythm, you can start putting everything together. So we're going to do each step one, two, and three, and then we'll teach you the break. Step one. One, two, three. Sha bi da. Then step two. One, two, three. Sha, ba, 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 di, ba, ba, di, ba, ba. Then step three. One, two, three. Stamp, stamp, ball, stamp, stamp, ba, Then the break is a way of ending the phrase and making it complete. It's like tying it up at the end. My break starts on the pickup again, on the four. One, two, three. Stamp, 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 Let's put it all together now. Ready? One, a two, a one, two, three. 